Hey, this is Ryan from Foxtech, and today I'll be showing you how to change app colors in iOS 18. Apple has added a new level of customization in this update, allowing users to change the appearance of their apps with just a few taps. Let's get right into it. To begin, tap and hold any app on your iPhone until it enters edit mode, where the apps start to jiggle and you'll see the familiar minus signs on the icons. This part hasn't changed, but iOS 18 introduces a new option that allows you to customize your apps. After your apps are in edit mode, look for the edit option in the top left corner of the screen. Tap on that and you'll see a new option called asterisk customize asterisk under add widget. Once you select customize, a new screen will appear with different display modes, light, dark, automatic, and tinted. The light mode keeps everything bright and similar to what you're used to while dark mode shifts everything to a darker theme, great for reducing eye strain at night. The automatic setting adjusts between light and dark modes depending on the time of day, giving you a more dynamic experience. The most interesting option is tinted, which allows you to change the color of the app icons based on your background. For instance, if your wallpaper is light green, the tint will automatically complement that color, but you can also manually choose from a wide range of colors like blue, red, pink, or any shade you prefer. To get even more precise with your color choices, there's a color dropper tool at the top right corner of the screen. This lets you match the exact color of your app icons to your background for a seamless look. On the top left of the screen, you'll find a sunlight icon, which allows you to adjust how the apps blend into or stand out from the background by lightening or darkening the overall look. There is, however, one limitation to this feature. While you can change the color of the app logos themselves, the background of the app icons remains in its default state, meaning you can't change the actual icon's background color. That's something to keep in mind as you experiment with customization. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and if this video helped you out, feel free to like, subscribe, and leave any questions in the comments below. See you later!